Hello students, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today, we have nine slang words that Americans usually use. But first, if you haven't checked out my Skype page, please head over there and do so, so we can have one-on-one -on -one conversation lessons. Or you can head over to my shop and check out all my latest courses that are available. So without further ado, let's start this lesson. Okay, so we have about nine slang words that Americans usually use. Okay, now like I said, these are all informal and used with friends only. Do not use this in a business setting. Do not use this in a serious conversation with friends only. You would use these. Okay, so the first one is come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, and we usually stress the come on. Come on. And come on means really, seriously. Okay, so for example, if a student says to me, teacher, teacher, my dog ate my homework. And I, and I as a teacher, would say, come on. Come on. I don't believe you. Okay, come on. Really, seriously, your dog ate your homework. I don't believe you. Okay, the next one is dude. Dude. Okay, when somebody says dude, it usually means a guy. Okay, a guy. So if you say, dude, let's go to a party tonight. Let's have some fun. Okay, dude, dude. Another one is uh, bro. Uh, let me see, dude. Uh, and you can also say uh, bro, bro. And guys usually say bro. Girls don't say uh, bro to another girl. Uh, it's usually guys that say dude or bro. So, bro, let's go to a party tonight. Dude, let's go to a party tonight. Okay, next one, jacked. Jacked. Stolen. Stolen. So, when you have been jacked, something was stolen from you. Okay, so for example, my car was jacked last night. My car was jacked last night. Next one, we have kicks. Kicks means shoes. You can say, I like, ooh, I like your, <clears throat> I like your new kicks, John, looking fresh. I like your new kicks, John, looking fresh. I like your new, I like your new shoes. Looking fresh. What does that mean, looking fresh? Uh, looking fresh also means looking cool, okay, looking good, looking good. So if I'm saying looking fresh, John, that means you're looking good. Next one, keep it real. Keep it real. When you say keep it real, be yourself. Don't act, don't be a phony, uh, a genuine copy of yourself, okay? Keep it real. I like to keep it real when I'm talking to my students. I like to keep it real when I'm talking to my students. Um, next one is money. Money. Not currency, but money. Money means uh, in this context, high quality. Something that is money that's high quality. So say you can say, my presentation for school was money. Uh, my, uh, my new iPhone 11 uh, is money. Okay? Uh, the, the party next weekend is going to be uh, money. Okay, it's going to be high quality. It's going to be on point. It's going to be good. We're going to have a fun time at this party. Okay, my uh, my I, my new iPhone 11 is money. The party next weekend is going to be money. Okay, it's going to have people are going to have a fun time. Okay, it's my bad. My bad. If you, when you say my bad, you say my mistake. My bad. I didn't pick you up at the airport. Uh, my bad. Um, my bad. I forgot your birthday was tomorrow okay my bad i forgot your birthday was tomorrow my bad saying you're sorry okay i'm sorry another way to say i'm sorry to say my bad my bad off the chain off the chain uh very cool okay so if something's off the chain that's another way to say very cool the new iphone is off the chain my new computer is off the chain um Let's see, let's see, uh, the 
of party is going to be off the chain. Okay, the party is going to be off the chain, meaning it's going to be an exciting party. It's going to be a very cool party. And the last and but not least, props. Props. When you say props, you give respect to someone. Okay, so for instance, if my friend goes to me, I just graduated from university, I would say props. Great job. I knew you could do it. So you give him respect. Props. Props. And usually props, um, we usually go uh, props. Props. Okay, so it's giving respect. So props. Props. Good job. I knew you could do it. Okay, and then we say it in a casual way. You say it in a casual way. Props. Props. I knew you could do it. So real casually. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, let me see. Come on. Be like, come on. It's not like, come on, come on. Use your facial expressions. Come on. You jack up your eyebrow if you can. Come on. Come, come on. Extend the come on. There's no, there's no rules or limitations to this. Dude, bro, is usually said with excitement. It's just not like, dude, bro. It's dude, bro. It's said with excitement. Jack, that's another one. My car was jacked last night. You would say that with excitement. Or not excitement, but enthusiasm. You just want to say, my car was jacked last night. My car was jacked last night. Kicks. Uh, keep it real. We usually keep it real. We break up the keep it real. We go, I like to keep it real when I'm talking to my students. Uh, money is another one. My presentation for school was money. Money. We extend the M. Okay, we accept the M, we go, money. Uh, let's see, off, and then off the chain is another one, off the chain. Very cool, the new iPhone is off the chain. My new computer is off the chain. We wouldn't say, my new computer is off the chain. There's no enthusiasm to that. You would say, my, th my, my new computer is off the chain. Okay, and then props, 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 okay. Um, okay, that's about it. Okay, those are nine uh, slang words that American use on a daily basis. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. And be sure to head over to my Skype page to book that your one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, lessons with me. And also head over to my, my shop where I have extensive vocabulary, uh, phrasal books, uh, listening uh, books, courses. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Later.